Boxing Sing here with Bob Aram of Top Rank. Bob, what's going on with Brandon Rios right now and his future? Well, we're, we're looking to do a fight with Brandon in June of this year. And we've been discussing opponents and dates with him. As a matter of fact, I just had a conversation with his manager this morning. And we're not uh, in a position to announce anything yet, but uh, uh, we, we will have an announcement probably within the next 10 days. Is one of the fights you're looking at a fight with Ruslan Provodnikov, or is that not? That's a possibility as well. What else is on the table? Uh, then, uh, you know, it depends if, if Marquez Alvarado can't be made, then maybe a re uh, the three, third fight with Alvarado. A lot of balls in the air, but everything will come together in the next two weeks. Is this at 140 or 147 for him? Well, he says that at, at, uh, if he fights Provodnikov, he definitely can get down to 140. Do you believe him? We'll have to take him to a doctor to see if that's possible. What's next for Evgeny Gr Gradovich? Are we going to see him against Jason Velez in June on the uh, Dakota Martinez? That's on the a pos big possibility. I'm also going to, Ru to Russia on Monday, and I'll be talking to people in Russia about arranging a match for him uh, in Russia, uh, in Moscow. Why do you want to promote him in Russia? Because I want to start promoting fights in Russia. And you have a lot of fighters that you can put there as well. Absolutely. Uh, and so would that also be against Velez, or would that be against potential other opponents that too? That depends, that depends. Anybody else that you're looking at? What? For, for Evgeny Gradovich, anybody else that you're well, looking at? Well, you know, who knows, maybe it's rushing it, but we could do a unification match with Lomachenko. That would be absolutely huge in Moscow. Okay. What about uh, the talks about Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. facing Gennady Golovkin? Is that premature? Uh, 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 Tom Loeffler's coming in tonight, uh, <laughs> and we'll be talking to him tomorrow morning. Why are you interested in that fight? It's a great fight. A fight that'll do tremendous pay-per-view business, and both fighters seem to want the fight. And is that going to be potentially at 168, not down at middleweight for Julio? Definitely 168. Okay. And so how do you see that fight going? You, you, obviously see Chavez winning against Golovkin. Yeah, but it's a tough, tough fight. That's what people pay for. I know that there had been talk for a time about Chavez potentially facing Ward, but you don't seem to be going in that direction now? Well, you know, Ward has uh, uh, problems with his promoter and so forth. Uh, until that gets straightened out, I don't think we can consider Ward. A couple more quick questions. What's the status of uh, Juan Manuel Marquez and Mike Alvarado right now? Uh, Fernando Beltran will be going to Mexico City on Monday to sit down with Marquez. Hopefully we can make that fight at that point. When are you looking for that fight to be? Uh, May 17th. Okay, and why do you want to make that fight? It's a great fight, and we'd love to open the forum in Los Angeles with that fight because Marquez had so many great fights at the old forum. Is this a make-or-break fight for Alvarado? None of these friggin' fights are make-or-break. What's wrong with you? I just have to ask the question, What's Bob. What's wrong with you? Watch what the UFC does. Guys win, they lose. As long as they perform well, there's no make-or-break.